Hey guys, we are in Muzaramani. Can you believe it? Right now it is, oh, I feel like it's too bright. Oh, it's fine. It's 9.01, um, 9.01. Um, and we are looking to get some cows. So we drove all the way to Muzaramani. This place is actually really lovely. Um, we saw some palm trees and it looks like and it looks like you're like close to a beach it's so scenic it's so amazing i think it's another place where tourism just genuinely needs to just be like yeah like built and done and it's, it's beautiful Guys, it is so hot. Oh, it's so hot. So right now we are just by the service station and going to the next plot or farm or place basically that has raw cows because where we just came from we've only managed to get two cows. So we need quite a number of them. Excuse me, excuse me guys. Um so yeah, so that's what we are doing. It is 10 o'clock. And we're trying to be done by two so we can head back to Harare. So fingers crossed we can get the amount of cars that we need today. Um, because Mzarabani is not close. It's like, it's close enough to be driving and going back within a day. But it's not a drive you want to be making every day. So it's about three hours away. Um, depending on the speed once again. Three to three and a half hours. So let's see, let's see, let's see if we can, if we can hit the target. Our target today. almost 1.30 um, and most of the guys that have got cows have actually taken out their cows to go and graze the like grass elsewhere because usually um, at night most guys will bring back their cows and put them in like a like a gated area right so that they don't get lost or get stolen 
and then first thing in the morning they'll release them from like the cage and and then yeah let them out to graze so unfortunately that's the challenge that we've been facing so we were now debating uh, my fiance and I were, were debating if we should sleep in Muzarabani because there's a there's a lodge that's there called um, Mavuradona Wilderness Eco Lodge. I wasn't too keen on staying there because a <laughs> there wasn't any electricity because we we're going through load shedding at the moment. And then in addition, they had said that they don't have a generator and the accommodation as well itself wasn't the greatest. It wasn't appealing at all. And I get it because we're in Muzarabani. It's not like a, you know, a famous tourist place. Um, most, because they were saying that most of their clientele usually come for conferences and also they don't offer food. And it's not like there's any choices really here in Zarabani. And the food that we had bought can only last us for today. So we've decided to just drive back to Harare now and then get the sleep that we want to get so that we'll be up first thing early tomorrow morning to come this side and um, round up the number of cows that we wanted or cattle that we wanted so so yeah so that's the story we're just gonna take some drone footage I'm, I'm sure you guys can hear it now because the scenery is amazing um, and then we'll now be heading back to H-Town <laughs> 